Hey everyone, what's the only logical thing to do to your FN PS90 once your state allows short barrel rifles? SBR, of course. I filed the Form 1 on my PS90 last April and was approved in December. I've been messing with it during the winter months and definitely will be using it more here in the summer for any velocity testing or ballistics gel testing with any more 5-7 rounds that I run. I've owned this Gen 2 PS90 for probably 6 to 7 years now. It's always been a pretty handy little rifle but the 16 inch barrel kind of takes away from the overall original design. This Gen 2 PS90 has the black ring sight or the United States Secret Service sight with the tritium backlighting in it. It's kind of gotten a little dim after seven years but you can still use it pretty good in, in the uh, nighttime. My biggest complaint on the factory PS90 sights has always been the field of view. It's, you just don't get a lot when you're looking through this tiny sight but nowadays there's a bunch of different aftermarket companies offering different rails and attachments so you can mount pretty much any RDS sight that you want on here. Since I wanted to retain the use of my 16 inch barrel for any future tests, I purchased a second factory 16 inch barrel and had it chopped and threaded. Specifications are available online for anyone that wants to do their own re-threading or you could send it to someone like Taylor Pickerel who is a thread master. CMMG or Striker Enterprises also makes SBR barrels factory used P90 barrels pop up from time to time, but I really wish FN would get on the ball of supplying us civilians with parts for these guns and, and sell the factory SBR barrel for these. Obviously on your SBR journey, once you've got your barrel taken care of, you're going to either need to run the factory flash hider or a couple of the different aftermarket options for a flash hider muzzle brake, or in my case, CMMG makes a threaded adapter to go from the 12 millimeter to half inch threads. If you are interested in watching any videos on how to perform the barrel conversion, i.e. cutting off the shroud and swapping out the barrel, I know Florida Gun Classifieds has a few videos on doing that. At slightly under 20 inches, this is one compact package. No stock to deploy, no magazine hanging down, downward ejection, and it's a blast to shoot. I just wish it had the fun switch for 900 RPM good times. For just a quick comparison, here's my CZ Scorpion EVO 3 SBR. Overall length is probably maybe two inches shorter with the stock collapse, obviously with the stock extended, you're in the 26 inch overall length range, which is where the PS90 originally was. You've got a little more height this way with a 30 round magazine sticking out, but still pretty compact, just like the PS90 SBR. I know this question comes up from time to time, would you use a gun like this in home defense? I think with the right ammunition from Elite or r, &R Weapon Systems or Desert Ammo Supply or Vanguard, I think I would. Definitely, you know, the S4M, or T6B, or even the Black Fame from Vanguard, or some of the lighter loadings from r, &R Weapon Systems, heck, even their subsonic 55 grain load. Just imagine that. Suppressed, expanding 55 grain subsonic. I'll leave you with some more clips, and until next time, take it easy, everybody.